everyone. Today we will discuss about a very important topic of design of civil engineering. Uh, there are many uh, theories of design of a structure in um, civil engineer. So uh, today we will discuss about the elastic theory of reinforced concrete section. Elastic. Theory of reinforced concrete section, and this theory is also known as working stress theory. And theory is based on the elastic theory of the material. And main assumption of this theory is assumption is the structural material structural material behave in a linear elastic manner. So to know about this theory properly, suppose uh, we assume a section of beam. Rectangle, this is a rectangular beam section. This is neutral axis. If we consider here uh, some um, steel reinforcement and the area of this steel reinforcement denoted by AST. And this is D. D is the effective depth. And effective depth is the uh, distance of this steel reinforcement to the extreme fiber of this concrete section. So, if we draw the stress diagram of this concrete section, the stress diagram is like this. This depth is N, that is neutral axis depth. This is effective depth and in the extreme fiber in compression site this is stress in concrete in compressive side sigma cbc in uh, tensile side sigma st stress is sigma st and this uh, tensile area is converted into equivalent stress uh, equivalent uh, st area of the concrete by multiplying the modular ratio that means if we multiply the modular ratio m into sigma uh, sorry ast that means area of the steel reinforcement then we get the equivalent concrete area equivalent concrete area that is here sigma cbc is compressive stress developed in concrete concrete Sigma ST is tensile stress developed in steel. Tensile stress developed in steel. And AST is 
area of tension reinforcement area of tension reinforcement d is effective depth so this uh, equivalent concrete area from tension reinforcement subject uh, contribute the tensile force t here and from from the compression side the compressive force is c and the distance between this compressive force and tensile force is d minus n by 3 so from this uh, stress diagram we get sigma cbc by sigma st by m equal to n by d minus n so we we can write n equal to kd kd where k is neutral axis def factor so from this sigma st equal to m into d minus n by n into sigma cbc so from this equation we can calculate stress in steel by this equation mm, now uh, if uh, when the external load acting in this section moment of resistance is induced in this section this moment suppose this moment of resistance uh, is denoted by m so mo this moment of resistance can be calculated from both compressive side as well as tensile side so if we uh, consider this moment uh, from compression side we get moment of resistance is denoted by m and uh, we get c into d minus n by 3 so this uh, c that means compressive force from this diagram this compressive force c is equal to area of this triangle that means the area of the triangle above the neutral axis so from this uh, diagram this uh, area is 0.5 sigma cbc n into b d into n minus 3 0.5 sigma cbc b again uh, we uh, can write n equal to kd which is already discussed so here kd by 3 0.5 sigma cbc b uh, if we taken out this uh, d term from the from this bracket so we get d square k and here 1 minus k by 3 again 0.5 sigma cbc b d square k and this term is written as j where j equal to 1 minus k by 3 and this is called lever arm factor now if uh, this uh, 0.5 sigma cbc k j equal to q that means if we uh, retain um, this term equal to q then in equation 1 uh, m equal to q into b d square from this 
v equal to m by q b so this is the uh, effective depth and effective depth can be calculated from this equation now area of tension reinforcement I already told that moment can be computed both from compressive side as well as tensile side. Mm, so, to get the uh, area of tension reinforcement, now we calculate the moment of resistance from tensile side. So, M equal to sigma ST, AST, D into N by 3. Here N can be written as K into D. D can be taken out from the bracket and here K by 3. And this term can be uh, written as J which is already mentioned. So from this equation we can get AST that is M by Sigma ST J D so this is the equation to uh, calculate the area of the tensile reinforcement if we know the moment of resistance so thank you guys for watching this